the power of the lord comes out from this sacrament you are surrounded by the power of jesus that power helps you to come out of your terrible problems horrible diseases hopeless situations there is still hope in your life what you trust in jesus what you ask to jesus now that is being granted amen today's promise word once again we have to recollect deuteronomy 28:1 if you obey my commandments if you become a doer of the word of god if you live a life according to the word of god i will put you very high i will set you on a high mountain and above all nations you will go up and i will set you very high in your life in your career you will be going up you will have promotion in your family you will have a wonderful life in your society you will have a great life and all will honor you respect you because you have honored and respected god almighty thank you jesus thank you jesus john chapter 14 verse 15 says if you love me if you honor me if you respect me keep my commandments so today we just meditate on holy obedience to jesus christ and his words surely these promises attached to obedience will be fulfilled in your life brethren just believe and obey the lord you can close your eyes and have blind faith in jesus surely he will not ditch you down he will set you very high and he will place you on the rock psalm 40 verse 1 There was a man who was walking fell down on a marshy land and he was going down and down and there is no help nobody around he was crying out then he inclined to me heard my cry are you like that person going down and down in the marshy land in a boggy clog or in a moor where you are going down and your legs are not coming up but it is going down verse 2 then he has lowered down his hand extended his hand and drew me out of the desolate pit out of miry bog a marshy land and set my feet upon a rock make him make my steps very secure so you have a strong field strong rock to stand and also your food are very secure you can walk on the rock and finally verse 3 he has given me a song of praise that means i am filled with joy you are filled with joy just witness the work of the lord almighty believe you will see the glory of god believe you will see a miracle believe you will get your miracle in your side because miracle worker is standing nearby if you believe lift up your hands if you believe that miracle worker is standing nearby so there is a chance of miracle in your life lift up your hands today i got a testimony from bangalore reema she is always online and uh, she heard that 98 percentage of people are being blessed by father jose ministry and jesus blessed them 2 percentage father jose didn't hear any testimony she was thinking i belong to that 2 percentage but this morning she says i was thinking i am fortunate enough to become the 2 percentage not in the 98 percentage but today the lord has put me among the 98 percentage i got a big transfer from the 2 percentage to the 98 percentage 98 percentage are being blessed other 2 percentage are waiting for getting blessing and uh, all those who come for the retreat all those who are online 2 percentage are always being left out i don't know what it is and rima giving a testimony all these years i was in the 2 percentage but today i am employed i am getting my good salary and everything is good in my life suddenly a shift happened in my life from the 2 percentage i am shifted to the 98 percentage praise the lord praise the lord all glory and honor to jesus forever and ever amen look to jesus now we pray 
for freedom from sin sinful addictions substance substance abuse and the moral life the lord is going to set us free if we love to keep the word of god the lord will strengthen us deuteronomy chapter 15 15 if you have a wish to keep the commandment the power will come from jesus if you have a desire to violate it the devil will give you the power to violate it hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank, you, thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. Thank, you, lord. thank you lord so today we keep all the commandments and verse 16 to 18 says if you will you can keep the commandment that is your own personal choice hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank, you, thank you jesus praise you jesus praise so jesus. now we lift up our hands and we pray we need freedom from sin and also we need freedom from enemies these are the two intentions that we keep now book of sirach chapter 15 verse 15 the lord is blessing you now giving you power to keep the commandments if you choose you can keep the commandments to act faithfully is a matter of your own choice if you take a good choice now lord i want to lead a holy life power will be granted according to sirach 1515 power will be granted to you If you pray to Jesus Jesus protect me from all all my enemies Jesus will protect you from your enemies because Jesus is the lion of Judah he will protect you from all the beast and animals Let us pray for protection from enemies and freedom from sin and sinful addictions Praise the Lord Praise the Lord If we keep the commandment if we are the doers of our word of God our descendants and our children and great grandchildren also will be blessed genesis chapter 26 verse 4 genesis 26:4 god appeared to isaac and told him your father abraham believed in me he followed my precepts and commandments so you also will be blessed because of your father who obeyed my commandments and your children and descendants will be like numerous stars in heaven your offerings all be like stars on sky because your father believed in me brother sisters i tell you when you believe in jesus christ and you keep the commandment of jesus christ you and your future generations are being blessed according to genesis chapter 26 verse 4 praise the lord praise the thank, lord. You, jesus. thank you, jesus so generational curse or sin there is for whom those who do not believe in jesus those who believe in jesus the generational sin will be shifted from you to jesus galatians chapter 3 verse 14 those who believe in jesus will not be affected by generational sin there is no ancestral curse for them because through jesus christ the blessing of abraham might come upon gentiles and to you so receive the promise of the spirit through faith that means blessing which was upon abraham will come upon all those who believe in jesus so ancestral curse never will be effective only the blessing which was upon abraham that will come upon you and on me and in the future generation all glory and honor to jesus forever and ever amen hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank, you, jesus. thank you jesus praise to jesus praise